Hello parents, this is Ken Burris, Director of Technology here at HCA. I just wanted to touch base with you real quick about an issue that some of you may run into as you are attempting to watch videos that your uh, child's teacher may be posting to RenWeb or Google Classroom during our times of remote learning. Some of you, when trying to view a video, you may come to a screen in your browser that looks like this. So for some people, when you get to the screen and you're not seeing a video, it seems a little confusing. And it says, we're processing this video, please check back later. This actually does not mean that the video is not ready for viewing. All this really means is that Google is taking some time in the background to prepare the video so that you can watch it within the browser itself. And really, you don't need to wait for that. Uh, you can go ahead and use this blue button to download the video right away. And as soon as it's on your computer, you can go ahead and play it directly on your computer. You do not need to wait for Google to process the video so that it's playable in the browser. All right. Now, if for some reason you do download a video and it's not playable on your particular computer, which could happen, there's no guarantee that every computer is going to be able to play every video format. I do have a little tip for you. Uh, if you go to a site called videoland.org, videoland.org, and download a utility called VLC Media Player, VLC, this is a great utility that's used all over the place. You can download it for Mac, Windows, Linux, whatever platform you're using. You download this application, which is completely free, and you will be able to play virtually any video or audio format that you can think of. It's a very versatile application, and I recommend it for all of you. So in the case where you cannot view a video that someone has posted, you download it and it still doesn't play in your machine, go ahead and try VLC and I think that will probably work out pretty well for you. All right, if you have any questions, if that doesn't address your particular problem, just contact the teacher of your child and if they can't answer it, they'll let me know and we will sort things out.